uh, I always begin by saying the first question is, is there a there there? By that I mean, whatever it is that you're analyzing, is there is the cost enough for a payer to be interested in intervening on this condition? And are there enough people to make it worthwhile to intervene? And I think one of the results that we are seeing here is it is a very prolific, highly prevalent condition, and the finances work out to suggest to a payer that they should take uh, take an interest in it. The second and related point to that is uh, what surprised me because I had very little understanding of sleep and sleep medicine before was that was the scale of it, the cost of it. One thing I think that has been uh, has been investigated a lot in condition management programs is depression and behavioral health. And I think it's very well known amongst those of us in, in this field that depression behavioral health adds uh, you know, between 50 and 100 percent to the cost of whatever the underlying condition is. One of the real surprises to me about this analysis was you're seeing the same result for sleep. You're seeing that in this patient population, uh, sleep apnea untreated is adding the same sort of percentage to the underlying chronic conditions. And I think, you know, you, you're sort of, in a way, if I can use the term, the sleeper here, in terms of conditions, you know, if behavioral health gets a lot of attention, people are aware of the costs and aware of the necessity to treat. And then the final point around here is, when we go back to my point about, is there a there there? The last point I make to clients is, is there a successful treatment that's available? Can you actually change the patient's trajectory in terms of cost? And we do see that here. So. I think that we're, we're looking at a condition here that, that really meets all of my prior requirements for a successful economic model.